This video is a direct continuation from uh, where I explained the associates angles or angles in different quadrants. So in this video I'm going to go through three different types of examples where I'm using um, the properties I explained in the previous uh, video. So uh, you can skip to the part that you want to know um, as I'm, I just felt like it's more appropriate to have all the examples together so that you can see the different um, ways you can, uh, questions could be asked. So I'm going to look at associates acute angles and then I'm going to solve equations or finding all solutions within different quadrants and then angles and trigonometric functions. So um, I honestly didn't know what to name this third one but it was an interesting example to look at. Um, and it ties everything together. So again, skip to the part that you want to look at. So it's a couple of examples for each section. So um, looking at the associates acute angle, so um, we want to first write down the quadrant and the associates acute angle uh, when theta is, in our first example, equals to negative 215. So uh, keep in mind that the acute angle belongs in the first quadrant. Um, and in order to get to the first quadrant, we need to know which quadrant we're at first. So um, what is a negative 215? Well, a negative angle, so a negative angle, is an angle that goes clockwise on the it goes clockwise on the unit circle. So we're used to going anticlockwise when we're calculating angles, but this goes anticlockwise. So right now we don't know, um, well, you can know which um, quadrant it belongs to. So if I have a, if I have this, and if you want to be rebellious and think about this as two one uh, negative, then you can think about well, this is my negative ninety. This is negative one eighty. Um, this is negative two seventy, which means negative two one five will be in the second quadrant. So if you're going backwards, if you want to go to a more standard way, because now that we're in the second quadrant, but it's a bit hard to get to the acute angle, not impossible, but it just makes your life difficult. So um, you know that 215 is going, um, so it's going anticlockwise. So if this is my 215, then it's just 360 minus in order to need to for me to get this angle. So all you have to do is go 360 um, minus that 215 and that's going to give you 140. So this is 140 because they both should add up to, so this angle and the 215 should add up to 360. Um, so 360 minus 215 is 140. So 140 and 140 is in the second quadrant. So we're in the second quadrant. And if you're in the second quadrant and you want to get to the acute, associates acute angle, um, well, we know in the second quadrant, we get to the 140 by taking 180 minus our acute angle. I'm going to use alpha because theta is referred to this angle. And that gave us 140. So if you remember from the previous video, second quadrant does 180 minus. So this means that I take 180 minus 140 and that's gonna give me 30, um, sorry, this is 145, not 140. Okay, so uh, that's fixing the numbers. Um, so 145, 145, and 145. So, so 180 minus 145 will give us 35 degrees. So the associated acute angle is 35 degrees. Now, if we go to, let's deal with radians this time. So we have 11 pi over six. So we're dealing with radians. Now what you can do is first understand um, what values fall within each quadrant in the radians? Um, well, we know it's zero. We know this is pi over two, um, and we know this is pi, and this is three pi over two. Okay, so this is a standard you need to know. Um, you can know the values, so this will be pi. So obviously pi is um, 3.141 and so on. Um, but the rest you'll have to calculate as well. So if I calculate um, 3 pi over 2, I'm going to get um, 
4.71 and so on. So um, if you want to evaluate this 11 pi over 6, it's going to give you um, 5.7596. That's rounded. Um, so it's going to be in the third quadrant. So we're in, uh, sorry, fourth quadrant. Um, another way to think about this is to actually split we're in six parts so um, your pie is being split into six parts so you have 11 pies so what you can do is split this pie into six parts so you have um, you have oops, no. you have one and you can skip through this painful procedure so what I've done is I split my pie into six parts so one two three four five six my denominator is six but I have eleven of those six parts so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so I am here so I'm within the fourth quadrant so quite a painful way to determine which quadrant you're in but useful um, so we know that if you're in the fourth quadrant so the process is 2 pi minus alpha and that's going to give you the 11 pi over 6 so all you have to do is reverse all of this so you have 2 pi um, sorry minus minus 11 pi over 6 and that's going to give us 11 over 6 so that's the acute angle it's associated with so it all links back to the first video and how you would um, pick all the values um, together um, so this first example already took too long so I'm gonna split the video up again into three parts for each of the examples um, so um, it's easier to understand, but do watch them all together because all, they're all related to each other.